responding to the statement by the minister responsible for seniors in the province of Ontario. How dare this minister or any other member of the McGuinty government claim to be doing anything positive for seniors in this province? Seniors Month is more than words. It's more than photo ops, hollow speeches, empty rhetoric. I fear this point is lost on members of the government benches. The minister supposedly responsible for seniors claims she cares about this key segment of our population. If the minister truly did care, why was she absent from last Thursday's vote on Bill 78, a bill that would have provided real property tax relief for low-income seniors and disabled persons? Come to think of it, a number of Liberal members from ridings with large seniors' populations were noticeably, noticeably absent from the debate and the vote last Thursday. For example, the members for Ottawa Vanier, Kingston and the Islands, Nipissing, Niagara Falls and St. Catharines, to name but a few, were all absent. Stop. This House, otherwise I could make some interesting references right now. I will, I will remind members on both sides because the Honourable Member made reference to a minister being absent. There was a statement earlier from the member of Sault Ste. Marie, which he made reference to his own absence. So um, we'll uh, remind all members of that. Member from Thornhill. Just keep going. Don't get kidding. Point taken. I guess it's easier to talk the talk than walk the walk. Say one thing when it's politically expedient, do otherwise. It's the McGinty Liberal way. The reality is that today's draconian property tax laws punish seniors and push them to the brink of poverty instead of reflecting the gratitude the minister says that we should display for the important contributions that they've made to this province. I guess displaying gratitude for seniors is okay, but when it comes to helping seniors, the McGuinty Liberals are prepared to cripple them financially. Oh. An opportunity for innovative legislation and leadership to help our graying population was lost on Thursday when the McGuinty Liberals decided to vote en masse against Bill 78, which would have created a province-wide, provincially administered property tax deferral system for low-income seniors and low-income disabled persons. For many of us, the most significant significant investment we will ever make is the purchase of a home. However, every year across this province, ever-increasing property assessment and tax rates threaten that investment. Seniors want to stay in their homes. They want financial independence. The McGuinty government, however, wants to rob them of their dignity. As demonstrated by last week's vote, Dalton McGuinty's Liberals believe it is quite acceptable to continue with a patchwork quilt of ineffective municipal property tax Imagine. deferral programs. Imagine. What's the real McGuinty anti-liberal message to Ontario's elderly population this month. Happy Seniors Month. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for the memories. Member from Wellington, Halton Hills. Well, Mr. Speaker, we in the PC caucus were